on the mountains to high fire danger and the high winds in the plains. Meteorologist, continu meteorologist Alan Rose is breaking down why we see high fire danger when the winds blow downhill. Alan? Yeah, Rob, it's been a dynamic day here in Southern Colorado, all thanks to a strong and dynamic storm that's coming out of California. That's hitting Colorado pretty hard right now. For the mountains, it's been a wintry mix of snow and wind. For the plains, we've seen some occasional showers, but our big story, it's been the high wind and the high fire danger. Now, all current high wind warnings and red flag warning, as Mike mentioned, these are in effect until 8 o'clock this evening. Gusts today have been the strongest, generally in the mountains, mountain valleys, and south of Highway 50. Now, to explain what's happening, let's take a look at the difference between upslope versus downslope flow. With winds generally flowing west to east across the country, upslope winds in this example will occur on the western mountain slopes. This causes rising air to cool and moisture to condense into clouds and snow. On the eastern slopes, the opposite sides of the mountains, sinking air warms and dries out. Looking more closely at this downslope flow example, storm energy aloft enhances the wind. For the plains, the stronger the downslope wind, the higher the fire danger. We can see that here as we take a look at the strength of the position of the jet stream winds. These winds can be found at roughly 30,000 feet above ground level. The orange tones you're seeing here on this map over Colorado, those indicate upper level wind speeds around 150 miles per hour. And under the right conditions, that strong wind energy in the upper atmosphere, that can mix down to the surface. Now, not all of it, of course, but some of those stronger gusts can reach us here down across the plains. Now, today, those conditions haven't lined up perfectly in the Pikes Peak region, and so far, we've managed to escape the worst of today's windstorm, whereas areas south of Highway 50, that's where we've seen some of those 50 to 70 mile per hour wind gusts. Send it back to you.